In this Breeze demo, we are showcasing the platform's capability to intercept a call, monitor the call, and modify a workflow. Specifically, this use case deals with a customer who is called into a contact center and disconnects from the call. The agent is prompted in real time to call that customer back. Furthermore, from the contact center's perspective, this is all done in a single interaction. Welcome to Design Contact Center. An agent will be with you shortly. At this point, we can see that Breeze has intercepted the call and played the customer an announcement. The customer is then forwarded into the contact center queue. Once an agent has answered, the workflow waits for one party to drop from the call. If it is the agent that ends the call, the workflow is over. However, if the customer drops from the call, the agent is prompted with an option to call that customer back. The customer has dropped from the call. Press 1 to call them back. Press any other digit to end the call. The snap-in can now retrieve the customer's information and call them back. After deploying this snap-in and gathering some feedback, a contact center manager may decide that it's time to modify the workflow, perhaps add a new means of communication. In order to achieve that, we'll open up the workflow in the Engagement Designer Workflow Editor. The path that I'm going to modify in this workflow is taken when the agent chooses not to call the customer back. In its current state, the call ends. However, I'm going to add in a new action which will send the customer an SMS saying, thank you for calling. Our first step is to delete the branch that connects that decision to the end of the call. Once we have done that, we can head to our tools on the left-hand side of the screen and drag in the text message notification block. With the block in the right place, you can now connect it to the items that happened before and after the text message. Now we have to give this action block some information, such as the sender's number, the recipient number, and the body of the text message. The sender's number can be typed into the box as shown, or can be standardized as a property of the snap-in. Next, we must tell the snap-in who is going to receive the text message. At the start of the snap-in, we recorded some information about who called into the contact center. From this interface, we can grab that caller's phone number and point it to the recipient phone number of the text message. The final step is to add the body of the text message. This can be done simply with text as shown, or you can use different variables to send customized information to your customers. The workflow is now complete. We must save the workflow before deploying it, and we can validate the workflow to ensure that there are no errors in our design. Once we have received the confirmation that there are no errors in our design, we can go ahead and deploy this snap-in through the very same Engagement Designer interface. After selecting Deploy, we must also choose a service profile to which the snap-in will be deployed. In our case, the service profile is the phone number which will activate the snap-in when called. After clicking OK, the snap-in will be deployed and be ready for use within seconds. With our freshly deployed snap-in, we can now once again call into the contact center and watch as the workflow takes its newly created path. Design Contact Center. An agent will be with you shortly. The interface being shown here is a live instance of this Breeze snap-in and can be used with any snap-in created in Engagement Designer. Actions highlighted in orange are currently being processed, while those highlighted in green have already been completed. As before, the workflow is waiting for one party to drop from the call. When the customer drops, the agent will be prompted to call them back. The customer has dropped from the call. Press 1 to call them back. Press any other digit to end the call. In this scenario, the agent pressed 2 and does not call the customer back. This demo has shown the simplicity and flexibility of the Breeze platform. 
I encourage you to think of the Breeze use cases that could benefit your business.